Hey, all you Atlas Earthlings, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate all the time you spend with me. In this episode, we are going to cover a feature that just went live in-game uh, today. It was announced and talked about for the last few months, but a uh, huge upgrade to the game. But before we get to that, uh, if you're new here, uh, if you're just checking out videos on YouTube about play-to-earn games, um, I would say that Atlas Earth is definitely worth a try. I've been playing Atlas Earth for almost eight months now, and I've made a little bit over $150. So I've done a lot of videos on it. Uh, like I said, this is a news update covering a, uh, a new feature that just went into the game today. Um, but if you're interested in more information on the game, I will leave a uh, link to a video that I made that uh, tells you all about the game, how to use it, how to play it, how to earn money, how to take money money out, etc. Um, at the end of this video and also in the show notes. And if after you watch the video, you feel like uh, giving it a try, I mean, why not? It, you can play for free. I play for free, right? Um, it takes time, but um, use my uh, referral code in the show notes, uh, if you wouldn't mind, because then it would help both of us out. Uh, if you use the referral code, you get 200 free Atlas Bucks out of it um, by the time you hit your 11th parcel, which is basically two free parcels or a free badge, and I get 100 of it out, as, uh, out of it as well. So I would appreciate um, that. Now, I just had to jump on here. Of course, we are talking about maps. Um, this game has been going on for several years. It's been live in the United States more than three years. Uh, in the last year, uh, we've added all kinds of countries, um, and they're not stopping. In 2025, they're going to add more countries. So, I mean, just in this last year, you know, uh, Canada went live. We had Australia. We had England. We had, or the UK. We had um, both parts of Ireland, we had Germany, we had France. Um, I'm not sure the status of Japan and South Korea right now, but those are right around the, the corner if they're not live right now. So really what I'm trying to say is there has been a lot of uh, development in this game um, over the last year, and I cover a lot of games, so it surprises me. A lot of games... It takes a long time to get stuff changed and new stuff into the games. So it is really a happy surprise for me whenever I see uh, an R&D team moving full steam ahead with their game. So what we're talking about is maps. We've talked about it the last few months uh, as uh, you know, after they first mentioned it with uh, just some loose details. Um, I did an update a couple days ago saying that this was going to go live this week. Well, guess what? We had the update yesterday and it went live today and I saw it announced in Discord. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay, the maps, uh, the map uh, is located uh, on your Atlas Earth account. You'd have to log in on a browser. Um, we're going to take a look at it on my computer here, then we're going to take a look at it on my phone to see what it looks like. I've tried them out both, and they both work pretty good. So uh, just log into your account, uh, go over here to the map button, click on the map button, and then this opens up. So you can see you have your map, which you can scroll in and out of. Uh, you, you can see your leaderboard, which another part of the update is the worldwide leaderboard now. So you can check that out. Um, this is the worldwide leaderboard. Um, and then your usual uh, country, um, state, and county, or localities, whatever you call it in your neck of the woods. Um, but if you want to get rid of this, especially this comes in handy on the mobile device, you can click on the little uh, icon up here, the trophy, and it will get rid of that. So you can go ahead and zoom in and out. So let's go ahead and take a look at New York, and let's just zoom in and see what New York looks like. So uh, now when we hit this level of zoom, we can start to see all of the parcels that have been purchased. You can see a lot of the bridges have been, uh, looks like most all of the bridges have been purchased. And uh, the further you zoom in, you can see the actual rarities of the parcels. Now, you cannot click on them and see who owns them. Obviously, that would be a privacy issue. Um, so, um, but you can see um, the rarity. So if you are in a, I, right off the bat, I can think of if you're thinking about buying a parcel or if you're thinking about looking at your parcels and looking at where all the rarities is, this would come in handy. You could zoom in on it uh, on the map and see what the rarity of the parcels were. Um, like if you wanted to upgrade some parcels or if, you know, in the case you were trying to buy something off somebody, you could see what it was, but you can scroll in and out and you can see that. And it goes in pretty far. I mean, you can go all the way into a full square there. 
Now, while we're here, you can see another thing that I want to point out that's part of this, which is, uh, to me, uh, you know, equal parts. You know, obviously, it's great to see the parcels, their rarity, where are they, uh, uh, where they are on the map. Um, but another big thing is the area line, the outline. You see this black line here? We can trace it down and scroll out a little bit. Oh, I just lost the line. But that is going to, um, that apparently is Brooklyn uh, proper. So anything in here, you can see where the line separates this. It's going to be on the logical line of the river or creek. Um, and then up here, you see that uh, the area has changed and we are now in Queens. Um, same thing applies. You can scroll over here and we're on the islands. You can see that, let's scroll over here to the, let's scroll out a little bit. But you can see the black line and you can see that we are now in New Jersey. And of course, if we go north a little bit, uh, New York proper and so forth. But the main thing I wanted to point out here was the fact that now you have uh, city and county lines. So um, and we'll take a little bit of a closer look whenever I show it on my phone. But it's a lot easier to go ahead and scroll around and see those badges where you may need. Um, so that's another nice thing. So I've scrolled over to Bridgeport, Connecticut, and you can clearly see the definition lines. It was a little bit harder there in New York because of the islands, but you can clearly see the definition lines and you can see the cutoff down here at the bottom. Now, if I scroll over here, I'm in Fairfield. So um, definitely the county and city line uh, markers are going to help people plan for go find your badges, where to go. Makes it a lot more logical, a lot less gas used, uh, because I don't know about you, but uh, in a lot of situations, I was just driving around my area trying to find badges, um, going one, one direction, you know, 10 miles or something like that. That's going to cut this out of it. And also, you're going to be able to look at um, the when you are in an area, say you're here, we're in Fairfield, Connecticut, you can uh, look over here at the leaderboard and see who the mayor of that area is and look at exact parcel counts for that direct area. So if you're going to travel or you're doing a little bit of research on what areas around you you're interested in possibly taking over mayorship of, um, this is going to make this a lot easier. Um, it's also going to make it a lot tougher on uh, lower end um, people that don't have a whole lot of parcels and um, have got a mayorship with very few parcels. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of land around the world that is covered by this map, but uh, it, it will be a lot of people online are, are putting out the idea, it's, it's gonna make it easier for the whales to figure out uh, locations to go and buy the mayor ships out from underneath them. So, I mean, you know, it's a double-edged sword. Uh, you, get, you get some bad with some good, but at the end of the day, this is really going to help everybody out and it's a great thing for the game, I believe. Okay, that took longer than expected. I uh, went to log in to the website in my mobile browser on my phone and the Google SSO login just wouldn't log me in, uh, even after doing the MFA check, which is where you have to go to the YouTube app and click the button and everything. So it ended up, ended up being several different, uh, you know, relaunching the app, trying to relaunch the browser, relaunching the uh, um, the YouTube app, etc. No luck. So I ended up having to hard power down my phone, power back up, and then after uh, a couple minutes, I was actually able to. Uh, do the SSO login from Google to Atlas Earth. Has nothing to do with the current topic, but um, you know, uh, we'll, we'll see if I, I don't usually use this on mobile. I mean, I usually use the app. I usually don't uh, access the actual website on mobile. So uh, maybe you can leave a comment. Uh, have you had issues with uh, accessing the website, the Atlas Earth website in mobile? Let me know. And, and just for the record, this is on uh, an Apple phone, so. Um, I do know that people have, on Android have uh, a different experience, uh, so I thought it was worth mentioning. So uh, the reason why we got this up here, we're going to check out the map, um, and here we go. Uh, once again, I told you earlier, the leaderboard actually covers a significant part of this, so we will actually um, select the little, uh, what is that, it's a trophy icon, and uh, back that down so then you have full access to the map obviously um, you can pinch and zoom in and see where people um, have parcels uh, here and there um, you can actually also see trying to find a boundary line here here's a boundary line 
See, we, we went from Cedar Park, Texas and crossed over into Williamson County. So that's also very handy. You also have, uh, like I showed earlier, the leaderboards available um, and titles if you happen to have uh, a title on your um, account. Um, but not in that area but you can like i said you can say if we wanted to see who what was going on uh, let's go over here in cedar park texas we could bring up uh, this and look at the local leaderboard and we can pull up the locality over here on the right and see the king of queens is governor of texas i'm wondering why this is showing up on this um He's governor of Texas. Is he also the mayor of this area? We see rule 20 here is the mayor of town forest or town of forest, the mayor of forest. Um, but we are in Cedar Park. So I'm wondering, let's scroll out a little bit. I'm looking for a different city. Maybe there's a city. Uh, we all know that sometimes you have a township um right next to a city you, you can pick up the the township badge here in the states and then you can pick up a city badge maybe that's it i don't know uh why um king of queens is popping up here as governor on the local list unless maybe he is also the mayor i don't know let's zoom in on williamson county which is right next door and look at okay so maybe the king of queens is also uh the mayor of that area i don't know um, but it would be nice if both of the titles are on there. Maybe it just defaults to the better title. I don't know. Um, so in this area, you can actually clearly see that the mayor uh, is Ophicus, and uh, he has 555 parcels. So obviously, if you wanted to go over there and uh, take mayor, then you would have to have more than that. So anyway, this has been Bronze Dragon bringing you a little bit of an update. Actually, a big bit of an update because there's been a lot of us waiting on these maps to go live for a long time. So big sh shout out to um, Atlas Reality for uh, keeping improving the game and also putting this in and making it a little bit easier on us. It, it Like I said, it's a double-edged sword, but I think it is firmly in the column of a definite, uh, a definite improvement to the game. So this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on on your side is happy and healthy and hey have you got that holiday shopping done hey i'll see you in atlas earth